Ufish TV is brought to you by Shimano. Bar Crusher Boats, visit barcrusher.com.au and Robost Automotive and Marine Paints. Here we go. We've just dropped the schoolie from heaven. We thought he had a banjo, but it looks like it's a tail wrap. No, it's just a little gummy. Just a little gummy. Good little keeper. Yeah, it's not bad, is it? Bring him Two over. minutes after the schoolie. Here we go. On the gummy, gotcha. Predator Breeze. Hey, how about this? Queenslip Fisheries Tag. How about that? Peter DeVries. Caught a tag fish, the first for tag fish I've ever caught. Why don't you come and stand in the front of the camera? We're going to call you Clint if you keep that up. <laughs> Have a look at that. Fisheries Tag. So we were saying that it was a keeper, but I've got to tell you, number E2792 is not a keeper. This is a perfect opportunity to get some information on this. We, we, Peter now becomes part of the history of this fish. He can report that information to fisheries and get the history of when this fish was first tagged, its movements, its time at liberty. And then if we release it again, we add Peter's capture details to the record of the fish and the, any future anglers that catch it, we can track it over the years and hopefully everyone keeps releasing it. I've actually been involved in five gummy captures over the years with tags and I've actually uh, released three gummies that have actually been caught. One of them was on Flinders Island, it was caught right here in Western Port Bay. So I've had some amazing uh, experiences and what you learn about gummies is they, they basically travel anywhere between Tasmania, Victoria, South Australia, New South Wales coast and Bass Strait and they just move non-stop and they move quickly. That's amazing, he's only a little, it's only a little female. So how long would you, that tag have been in wing? Well it's hard to say, it looks very fresh. Because he's not a big fish so... Actually, the numbers are, if you have a look, the numbers are very hard to read, which is a good sign it might have been out there quite some time, but normally they have a lot of more growth on them when they've been out there a long time. The total length on this fish is 9.10. There you go. And how old would that make this fish, 9.10, roughly? Um, I'm thinking that it's probably only about five, six years old. Yeah. So, so how, I could, I could tell they, exactly. How, how quick do they grow? Like those big ones that you've caught, how big are they? Look, at 15 kilos or about 1.6 metres, they can be anywhere from 15 to 20 years old. 15 to 20 years I old. I always go on the rule of 15 years old, 15 kilos. But look, let's get this fish going. Yep. We want to keep our mouth open. Alright. A little bit of kick. Oh, nearly broke free. Go to Alan. Ooh. Um. She swam under the boat. Well done, so, mate. So she's good, she's going to continue on. We'll send that information off. Who are we going to send it to? Fisheries. Fisheries. All right, the number was on the tag. Well, yeah. obviously, we saw that number. We'll be able to get it off the footage. And uh, they'll send you a certificate. Well, oh, fantastic. Showing you the capture details of what you did and its history. Yeah. Now, I've so. caught probably 10,000 fish. Easy, in my life. It's the first ever tagged fish I've caught. So, to whoever tagged it, thanks very much. And once I find out who it is, we'll let you know. Yeah, awesome. And then as we anchored, I said, guys, there's a good chance of a schoolie. And as you saw earlier, that first fish Gwaine got, that was a big fish. It was six foot long. You wouldn't have appreciated the size of it in the, in the camera. Because we'd never got it close enough to the boat, but... Oh, 
deer. Those big head shakes, mate. There's nothing. Oh, look at this. He's got that rod too, is it? This is a bit of a dream for Winger to catch a school shark. We caught me and a mate Justin Davis caught a very big school shark of Flinders Island many years ago. Juzzy wound it in. Oh. I don't believe it. There's a bitness above our white trace. Mate. We had this much wire on there and it's still got it down his guts. Tell you what, it just makes you more determined. People say that schoolies are rare, they're not rare. It's just rare to land them, that's what it is. And as an angler, it's my mission now to figure out a way to consistently catch these big fish. That was a big fish. And welcome back to You Fish TV. I'm Warren Carter. And Brendan's rung me up, all excited about the school shark fishing that you've just seen from last night. Well, we're out here, we're gonna give it another go. We've actually gone and got some nice fresh bait. I'm just gonna fish one of them out now. Not that one, but tell you what, King George Whiting, very good. No good to eat, though. Is that right? <laughs> it's actually one of my favorite. Really, this is what we... We came out for Trevally, but we... We didn't we... get Trevally, but we've got ourselves a couple of fresh mullet. Very, very fresh. I'll tell you what, school sharks are going to love these. Okay, and being a nice fresh fillet, that's nice and firm. I'll tell you what, that's going to have a lot of smell about it, a lot of oil. That'll go through and the school sharks will be able to pick that up. Got our rig here. Yeah, tell us about me little, me and, uh, me and Gwaine did these rigs today because we don't want to have what happened last night happen again. Tell you what, the hardest thing about fishing for school sharks is you always get bitten off. And what Winger has come up with is a wire trace that is actually nylon coated, which is probably about 18 inches long. And then he's run this PVC plastic tubing glow over it, the top of it. Glow in the dark by the way. Glow in the dark with almost 9 or 10 glow beads along with his wing up McFlasher and just a single hook for a hang bait. Okay. And the other thing is to note, I mean, we're worried about these fish being spooked by the metal. The good thing about the wing McFlasher is the whole hook, if you turn it around, the whole back of the hook, which is going to be exposed, is covered yeah. by a coating of plastic and feathers. So the metal, the only metal is the barb sticking out of the bait. Everything else is covered in plastic. No chance of spooking any fish, including threshers, or or any of these spooky yep. fish like schoolies. Yep. But it's tough and it glows and it gets her attention. So show us the hang bait, the old great grey sub style, mate. Right. That's it. That's it. Yeah, that's it. And that's nice and tough. That's not gonna. You can pull on that. It's not gonna come out. And the idea is they come and inhale the whole thing. Yep. Now, if that was a frozen bait, that'd just pull straight out. But being a fresh bait, no way. Let's get it out there, mate. back in the current. I should just let that hit the bottom. Just sort of pick it up. 20, 20 ounce sinkers mate. 20 ounce leads, yeah. Fishing in about 18 metres of water here, so, and the tide's really starting to hum now. She's ready to go. Oh, that is an absolute smoking. <laughs> Mate, that is exactly what the schoolies have been doing, Carter. Mate, this is a good school of this one. Wing has actually got us out here on Western Port. It's actually blowing about 30 knots. It's been raining. We've persevered and we've just hooked up. And this fish is just coming to the enemy's run now, I think. You hope. I hope. <laughs> <laughs> and everyone, I'm actually hiding in the cabin because it's raining and it's blowing 30 knots. And, uh... Just to set the set the date here, it's the night after the fish that we dropped moments ago on the show. We planned this. We couldn't get uh, the same crew out, but we got Cameron with him. Some bloke over here I can't quite show you because his name's Clint and Warren Carter. 
Oh, this is a solid fish, this one. <laughs> that was a good run. <laughs> oh, it went hard. Mate, that was a really good run. And what you'd expect from every schoolie we've caught hooked. Can someone just check their watch for a date? I'm sure it's July or August. Coming back, Carter? Slowly coming back. All way out. Haven't they got some punch in that first run, mate? So if that didn't take 200 metres, I'll go heat. Well, I'm hoping it's a big schoolie. It's coming back, though, isn't it? Oh, he's out there a long way. He hasn't really started Slightly. to move back yet. It's fair to say he was he was on the move, he was heading up the bay with some pace, wasn't he? Mate, he was when he, humming. When he was picked up that bait, I don't think any eagle rail would give you a run like that. Well. And it's coming back. It's starting to come back now. You are, it is definitely coming back, my man. And we this shouldn't... what we want. We shouldn't be getting a bite through tonight. No. Wing has come up with this new wire trace. These school sharks, we often uh, lose 98% of them because they bite us off on the mono. But Wing has come up with this wire trace. It's got this um, plastic tubing that runs over the top of the wire. And this is why we're hooking up these school sharks now. Because they're spooked by the wire, aren't they? They are. A bit like a thresher? Very much like threshers and hammerhead sharks. They don't like the wire. And this, this one's coming back, this is good. Mate, this is, this is what we've come for, Carter. Welcome to You Fish TV at last, my man. <laughs> We're actually fishing off Sandy Point. We actually wanted to get down the main bay, down to Boy 6. And because it's been blowing 30 knots, we just can't get down there. So we've just picked a sheltered area. An area where I used to fish a lot on charters and that. And it's been very good to me. It's a good interception point for gummies and schoolies, isn't it? As they race up the bay on the flood tide. Yeah, once again, just using that drop off. I just use it as a highway. You just see this fish, he's sort of moving up into the current. Oh yeah, big head kick then Carter. Yeah. Now that is a run. That was one of the best runs I've ever seen in my whole life on Western Port. It took that spear ice almost down to the bottom. There's 380 metres on those reels mate. And it took over 200 in one run. Over 200. It took us 30 seconds to get the camera out. And it was still going. Well, as you saw earlier in the show, I had my chance. It wasn't meant to be. It'd be good old mate Carter's come out with Cam Whittam, who started off in the show number one. What a way to finish. The show number 13, at the end of the first series, is one of the biggest, most insane sharks you will ever see. I can't, I've got a gummy, you got to come inside me, Carter. Gummy. It's actually a gummy. Nice, but not going to fit in the net. <laughs> that took every bit of skill I had to net that. That is a monster gummy shark <laughs> Carter. That's a pair of them! Oh. <laughs> oh, what a beauty! Turn around. I think we'll put it back, eh? Oh, it gives someone else a pleasure to catch it. Beautiful fish. Absolutely. That is a monster, oh. Carter. Mate. That is a monster. I'll tell you what, I'm going to get a couple of photos and then we're going to get it going. All right. Let's have a look at things. And what people have got to realise is you're like, how tall are you? Six foot two? Six foot one. And a hundred and what, five kilos? Uh, just uh, not quite. <laughs> <laughs> we just keep it under a hundred. 
just under 100. That is a big fish, mate. A couple of flies less than 100. Mate. It's a little bit different when you're only a little fella holding it, but you're a big man. And that is as big as I've seen them, mate. Oh. Alright, well, what we're going to do, look at the size of that. Look at that head round, look at the camera. That is a big girl. Alright, Carl, I'm going to get some photos for you, alright, mate? Yep. No worries, mate. These are the lifeblood of the system. They certainly are, Winger. They make 50 to 100 a year yeah, maximum. Yes. Yes! Oh. Mate, that's well done. Oh, what else can I say? What an awesome experience. That first run, but just to see that fish swim another day is everything. That's my biggest fish, my biggest gummy. It's not bad. Once again, we winger. <laughs> Mate! <laughs>